New at 6, the mayor of Atlanta throws his support behind a new panhandling law. The reworked plan softens the penalty, but supporters say there is still some bite to the law. And Fox News' Morris Diggs joins us now live with details. Morris? You know, this problem used to be concentrated in downtown Atlanta, but now you can be walking to the grocery store and somebody will beg you for money. You could be driving, stopped at an intersection, and again, somebody will come up and beg you for money. Mayor Kasim Reed told me he knows the problem is at the tipping point and that people are fed up. The reaction to a new city of Atlanta plan to get tough on aggressive begging came instantly. You get locked up. You think that's bad? For nothing. Across Atlanta, panhandling is a source of aggravation. Getting tough, I think, is something that is required. It's Councilman Michael Bond won support from his colleagues for a new six-month penalty for panhandling. The mayor, citing constitutional questions, reworked that plan. But first, what is aggressive begging? We have, for example, a 15-feet space around entrances to properties. If you're at an ATM, a person should not step into your personal space and ask you for money. And what if you're in your car on William Street trying to get on the 7585 and the guy comes up to your window? Um, you got me on that one. And I'm not going to hazard a guess. In that situation, beggars can ask once but must go away if you say no. Under the amended legislation, getting caught the first time will mean a penalty of community service from the court. A second act, a 30-day sentence will be handed down. The third time, a 90-day sentence. Street people know best when a beggar is trying to hustle someone, like the, I just want to go buy something to eat line. It ain't legitimate because they don't have to do it. Because they feed you every day out here. I used to stay out here and I eat every day. You got to be able to get to the food all the time. Now, Councilman Bond says enforcement with a real penalty can work. He recalls that years ago, some of the beggars used to use the technique of the window washing to hassle motorists for money. He says they locked up a repeat offender for six months. The word got out, and that problem stopped. Reporting live from downtown Atlanta, outside Atlanta City Hall, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News. Well, you know, I hope it works. I guess everyone does, but I have a hard time imagining those folks doing community service, honestly. Well, I think that they, they probably can create something, especially if they work perhaps on a soup, soup line. That well, might be what might work. It'll take some bureaucratic administration. We'll, let's, we'll see what happens and follow up. I hope mm -hmm. it works. Mm -hmm. Thanks very much.